Imagine if you had a piece of technology that you could use with your team in a huddle room. You could use it for collaboration and brainstorming, but you could also use that technology in a classroom and have interaction and have the ability to express and build ideas by using that device. Imagine if the device could also be used remotely and we had apps running on it so you could have Zoom meetings and team meetings using this device. Imagine it had a camera and a microphone and a speaker system built in, plus a whole bunch of other features that really allow us to use this magical device in order to learn and teach more effectively. Well, you'd be imagining the NearHub S55 interactive whiteboard. And it's called an interactive whiteboard, but it's really a collaboration hub. It has so many features. And the good news is, here on Learning and Technology with Frank, we have one. So I'm going to be creating some videos on how to use the NearHub S55 in your own learning and teaching. It has a whole bunch of different features that are super useful and super powerful. I'll be using it not just to show you how the device itself works, but I'll also be doing videos on how I can use the device for a lot of learning and teaching. It's a very cool piece of technology and something that I think you'll enjoy seeing and maybe even consider using yourself in your own learning and teaching. So let's look at unboxing it. It did arrive just a while ago, so we've unboxed it. I actually created a video where I talk about seven different uses for interactive whiteboards. It's featured in that video. It'll be featured in some other videos coming up, but let's have a look at unboxing it and a few of the things that I think are very unique with this particular interactive whiteboard and, and why I think I'm really excited to be using it in some future videos. Let's go take a look. The UPS driver arrived with this awesome wooden crate that that had the S55 in it, and it wasn't alone. It actually had another box which contained the legs and the stand for the S55. We brought it down into the studio and unpacked the box with the legs on it, and then we put the legs together, we assembled it. It's quite easy to do. You take the legs and this acts as the stand for the S55. We then wanted to unpack the S55, so the S55 itself, we laid it down on the floor to make sure it didn't fall. And then we have these little connectors that we had to remove. This is in order to take off the packaging, so we remove the connectors. Once those connectors are removed, the packaging becomes loose, and that's going to allow us just to slide off the top cardboard because both of those protectors have been removed. That's a very important step and lying it on the floor just made a lot of sense. So we stood it up, we pulled off the cardboard for the, the unit and we took away the styrofoam. You can see that we've got the power cords and that revealed the S55. Now there are a couple things that you need to do if you're going to mount this onto the stand. First of all, you should always do this with a couple of people. You don't want this falling over and breaking. So I'm just holding it here, but I actually had my son help me with this. And then what we were able to do is lie it flat on the floor because I have carpet and we attach these two brackets onto the back. So it comes with some screws. You attach these brackets onto the back and this is what you're going to do to hang it onto the legs. The legs are really nice because they actually have caster rollers on them, so you can roll it around the floor and such. But to get it onto that stand, you're going to take these two brackets, you're going to take the screws that come with it and attach it. And then you're going to be able to put it onto the stand with a couple of hooks at the top. And if you look at the back, it's really important to make sure that those hooks are solid onto the stand. Again, I did this with my son so that we could make sure and not drop the unit. We did this as a team, making sure that it was there. Now you'll notice down here at the bottom that we have these brackets and these brackets actually, you don't just want to hang it on the stand, you want to close this bracket and then use the screw that comes with it to lock it in place with the screw. This means that it's going to be solid. On the back of the unit itself, we have a network in cable. We have a line in out. Now we have HDMI, HDMI out and in. This is really important. Plus we have the USB-C connectors. We have a different variety of USB-C connectors, including USB-C. So we have different options. In the back, we have the power plug. So you have to put your power plug into here and the power, power button's just on the side there. Now, we also have the ability with the unit itself 
to use a network adapter, which I highly recommend having a LAN cable that's connected to it so that you're connected directly to a wired network. That's always quite helpful. And it comes with a couple of near hub pens. You can use your finger to draw, but the pens of course are, are very, very handy. Very nice unit. So one of the things that we can do with the HDMI out, we can actually have what appears on the screen be transmitted out to a video capture card. We can share it remotely. We can use it as a monitor so I can have HDMI in, but having this HDMI out is a great feature. Another thing that we can do is because it's the Android operating system, we can actually do casting with it. This is, for example, I can do a Chromecast with it. And with Chromecasting, I can do things like hook up my virtual reality headset to it, my MetaQuest 3 VR headset. I can do casting in the VR headset. And I'll do some more videos on this for sure. And now everything that I am seeing inside my headset, my audience can see on the S55. This is yet another great use. So it can be a monitor input, it can be a whiteboard output, and it can also be a casting destination, and it's very useful. This channel is all about how we can use technology to learn and teach more effectively, how we can use technology to collaborate and share ideas and brainstorm. And the Nearhub S55 is a perfect example of a technology that enables all of those things. So I'm pretty excited about it and I'm excited to be making some videos on it and sharing my experiences with it with you. So I hope you're excited as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of those videos, as well as a lot of other videos here on the channel about other technologies that help us learn and teach more effectively. Now, after the whiteboard arrived, I received an email from Nearhub and they gave me a very generous discount code. So I put that in the description below. So if this is something that you're interested in using in your own huddle room or your own corporate training environment or your own classroom, check them out, check out their website, look at the different models. They have an S55, which is the one that I'll be using, a 65, which is a little bit bigger, and a 75, which is a perfect fit for a classroom. But the discount code will apply across all of those products. So check it out in the description below. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some more exciting videos on the Nearhub S55 and other technologies that help us learn and teach more effectively. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go play with it right now.